If you're feeling trapped by the agency you've built, or maybe you've even designed something that you have now fallen out of love with because of the season of life you are in, this video is for you. We just got back from an agency retreat that we held in Arizona for our clients, and we had a handful of our six and seven figure agency clients in the room for two and a half days where we were working on their business, discussing big picture strategic initiatives, and really just kind of trying to unlock bottlenecks that are currently happening inside their business. So I wanna bring you inside to a short session that I ran. It was a small session that led into a larger training on really a framework that we use to make sure that we were building a business that I love, that worked with my life and was big enough to support the vision and dreams of my team while still serving the type of clients that I wanted to work with. And we actually use this framework all the time in different seasons of life. When I had kids, I needed to reevaluate what am I building? And when I had our second child, am I still building this in a way that serves me, my life, my family? And and our clients and our team the right way. So whether you're thinking about launching new products or maybe you have a new child in your family or maybe you are at a different stage in life where you aren't in the you know hustle and scale mode or maybe you're coming out of a season where you weren't in a hustle and scale mode and now you are thinking about aggressive growth, this is a really good exercise to think through so that you can build something that works for you because it's so easy to get caught up in designing someone else's dream business. I mean, we watch videos here on YouTube all the time. By the way, thanks for checking out our video. But it's very easy to just start designing what someone else is telling you to make. I know I've made that mistake personally. And it wasn't until I really looked at my own business and life through this framework that you're about to see that I got to start building something that felt like my own. Without further ado, I want you to check out this session, small segment of our retreat that we just held with our clients. Now, if you're new here, my name is Greg Hickman. Thanks so much for checking out our video. I run a company called Alt Agency and we really help agencies, consultants, and freelancers systematize their business, productize their service delivery, and get paid for their thinking. We run a variety of training programs and retreats like the one you're about to see. So that's what we do here. Check out the video and I'll see you on the other side. Some of the stuff we were talking about yesterday uh, was around team, some vision came up a handful of times. How many of you have actually been through the business lifestyle return exercise in the training? When was the last time you looked at your business lifestyle return? Last week. Last week. When I did it. When you did it. Cool. So when we think about like, what type of product should I do? Like, do I wanna have training? Do I wanna do a coaching offer? Do I wanna have low ticket, high ticket? Is it done with you? Is it done for you? Is it DIY? Is it continuity? Like there's all these options, but there's like a menu, right? And you kind of get to choose the ingredients that are gonna work for you. But what works for you might not work for somebody else. And all of that, I think sometimes we get hung up on, well, the clients are telling me that they want this or the market seems to want this or it seems like the successful person over there is doing it this way. And very quickly, you can have a model that you don't like or doing things that are maybe outside of your zone of genius or things that just don't feel like you. So it's like, this is a reminder because we need a reminder more than we need to be taught. At the center of your entire business is you. If your business isn't taking care of you, you've built the wrong business period. Its primary purpose is to support you, your money, your time, your schedule, your energy. And so everything's like, sometimes we, we put the client's demands first or team demands first, but the classic saying, put your mask on first, right? Like you can't help anybody else if this thing isn't taking care of you, right? The number of people who their team members are making more than them or they're not even paying themselves so that they can make that higher. You're just building a business that is gonna fall apart at some point. Like there's only a matter of time before you're like, this isn't worth it. So like we gotta get sure and clear on what's the minimum amount of money that this thing is gonna have to make me and allow me to take home for the schedule that I want so that it's actually worth continuing to do, okay? Because once we're clear on that for ourselves, then we can start to expand our vision, right? Now that I know that this thing is designed to support me, I can start to think bigger. Our vision, where do we wanna go? What do we want to look like? What, what sort of, do we want retreats? Do we want in person? Do I wanna have ongoing relationships with clients? Do I wanna be involved in fulfillment? You know, what do all those things look like? What do I find joy in comes next? Okay, once you have your vision, then you can say, well, I wanna do this, but I know that in order to do this vision, 
there's a lot of things that I don't want to do. Well, all the things that you don't want to do, we know still need to be done to achieve the vision. So this starts to figure out like, well, what type of people do you need by your side to achieve said mission? So notice so far, I haven't talked about products or clients. They're not important until all of this stuff is clear. So like if I know that I want to be able to stand up here and have this conversation, and but I don't want to have anything to do with making sure that a cannoli shows up on time, like I need people that can handle operations and logistics. It's like, who's going to be that person? I don't need to know exactly who it is yet at this stage, but I need to know that I need someone that can do this sort of stuff. I know that I'm going to need experts on these things that are not my zone of genius in order to meet this vision. And so it starts to give you a roadmap of like what types of people and possibly what roles you're gonna have to have just, just to get you the income that you want, the schedule that you want, and have your energy focused on the things that you want. Does this make sense? Then we have products, and then we have clients. Some people would argue that that goes the other way around, but when I say products, like how do you want to deliver? What do you want delivery to look like? Like what container do I want to be involved? Do I want it to be an in-person thing? All of that sorts of stuff. Like you can have like the characteristics and the ingredients of how you want to deliver without necessarily having to be clear on what it's delivering just yet. But like, hey, when I deliver, these are the things that are important to me that I want to make sure happen. Back to Brad Martin now as an example, like he loves in person. And so when he first launched his business, you could only buy a two day experience that was 12 or 15 grand. And it required you to come to their office for two days and they implemented and then they went out to dinner and they went to top golf because like he loves to have interactions and like spend dinner and have fun with his clients. It's like the only way you could work with him for the first two years was a two day 12 K experience. And they got to a million just selling that two days, a million with like three people, right? And then it scaled, scaled up to three million. And got, then like, oh wait, we were so good at this. It doesn't even need to be two days. We can do that in a day. Oh shit, COVID happened. We actually can do that in half a day. And then they bolted on the continuity on the back when they were like, let's, how do we get to recurring revenue? Like, so he had his up and down. Oh my God, I built this business. I'm making money just to cover my expenses. Let me unwind this and kind of rebuild. But like the product was like, however I'm delivering needs to incorporate me having dinner and going to top golf with my clients. That's what I'm talking about when we, we're thinking about like product delivery. And then obviously, then the types of clients, okay, well then what, what do the clients look like that would want a delivery or need a delivery like that? And what is, what is my core capability allow me to solve? Is this making sense? So like the promise isn't necessarily captured in here. It's like the, the how, what's important for you to make this thing fun? What are the ingredients that you need that are gonna have you show up more consistently? Not every day, every day is not awesome, but like most days, if you're living 80% of the time, you're like stoked on how you're doing stuff, like we're winning. If you're not like looking and modifying and adapting your business lifestyle return on like a somewhat regular cadence, I think it's super easy when the opportunity that might seem like an opportunity of a lifetime comes through and you'd be stupid not to take it. But if it makes you change this or this and is different from this and doesn't involve this, like, is it actually worth it? And that's where you get to have the conversation with yourself. Like, yeah, maybe you can change it if, if it's that important. But like, I mean, you created this thing for a reason, so there's some sort of North Star to this, and this can really become kind of that like recalibration, right? When we're moving super fast, opportunities come our way, or things that might deviate from the standard or the structure that we set for ourselves, we get to go and decide if we want to modify it. Because any opportunity that makes you, the reason why in Business Lifestyle Return we do time, energy and then money in that order is because we don't want to look at money and take more money if it's going to make us compromise the time and or the energy that we just said we were mattered most. So it's actually the third most important thing. Some of you guys, as you're fast and furious, as you're going through this and it's like, oh, my clients are asking for this or I see everyone in the market doing, you know, this way, like it doesn't matter if it aligns with this for you and all of that, like that's important, but like we have to keep revisiting this. And some of you guys, your compass is off and we're going down rabbit holes because we just lost sight of this and or never got clear enough on this 
And now it's like, well, do I need this person on my team? I'm not even sure. It's like, well, if we went back and looked at what you love to spend time on and what also needs to happen that you don't love spending time on, are these people that we're hiring filling that gap? Because if they're not, like, are we even hiring the right people? You know what I mean? Like, I'll look at this sometimes on like a, like a daily basis at, at high frequency. And, and it'll change from season to season too. Like if you have a child, we might wanna come back and revisit this because some of the vision might have changed. There might, might be new priorities. All of the iterations and figuring out what we want obviously come from likely having done stuff that we realize we actually don't wanna do more of, right? And so sometimes, yeah, like we do have to take a couple steps back and we have to unwind a couple things and like get clear just so that we can go back to the team and like reshare this. And it's like, we're up here operating and then some of this changes and we come back and it's like, we have to kind of run, run it back through the whole filter. And it's like, well, I have this team, but like, is this the team that fits this vision? Now I want my energy to be somewhere else or I didn't, think about this role that needs to happen because I just changed where I want to go. And now we have someone that worked in the old model but doesn't work in the new model. Until they know what this is, they don't know either. So constantly revisiting this I think is, is really important. So I hope you enjoyed that little snippet from our retreat, really starting to think through your business from what do you want, then what is your vision, then what does the team need to look like to support that vision, then what sort of products and services do you wanna offer and how do you want them to be delivered, then lastly, the type of clients that you wanna be serving. So if we kind of look at our business and plan and design it through that order, we actually start with the core, which is us, the founder, right? Because if it's not serving you, then it's gonna be really difficult difficult to build a sustainable business. Now, if you wanna have a sustainable business, you for sure need to use systems. So go check out the top systems that I recommend to make your business run like a streamlined machine with the least amount of you as the founder.